Hello SSMBNs, how are you guys doing? I hope you're fine and rocking as always. I am so excited for today's weekly reading because I'm going to remove a special card as to what Master Merlin's blessing is going to be for you in the coming week. So as always, we have these three options. Option number one is this beautiful white uh, candle. Option number two is this lovely red candle. Option number three is this lovely orange candle. In case if you are getting annoyed by the subtitles, you can remove the subtitles by clicking on the CC button over here. So let's get started and see how the coming week is going to be for you. In case if you're confused as to which candle you should choose, you can also have this kind of options in which number one, two and three are written. Just pick up any one number with your eyes closed by saying, dear God, God is Archangels, how the coming week is going to be for me. And you'll get your number and whatever number you get, that's going to be a pile. Isn't it simple? So let's get started. Hello, group one. How are you guys doing? I hope you are fine and rocking as always. You have chosen this lovely white candle, which means the, the, the week ahead will be focusing on uh, spiritual growth, spiritual connect, a lot of cleansing, purity. You are going to take a lot of inner journey and you're going to try and sort out things. So now let's see what your tarot cards are going to tell us. We're also going to remove a special message from Master Merlin in terms of blessing for you in the coming week. So let's see the beginning of the week the mid of the week and the end of the week. All right. I have already removed your other cards. Let me keep over here. Okay, the beginning of the week, you have got Ace of Wands, which means there is going to be a lot of new beginnings, creativity, adventure, passion are going to be all time high. There is a new project that you are going to undertake and you're going to be really excited about it. Also, you are going to do some fire rituals and uh, to, to the divine. Uh, you're going to connect with the divine as well. Let's see the mid of the week. The mid of the week, you have got five of swords, which means uh, there is going to be a bully element, toxic element in your life in the mid of the week. However, it will be a good idea to not fall into anybody else's toxicity. Also ensure that you are bringing in light and love into other people's life. And there is no element of uh, bullying from your end as well. The weekend you have got page of pentacles, which means a lot of learning is going to happen at the end of the week. You are going to focus on self-development. Also pay attention to your body. You are going to spend your weekend in gratitude. Also, there will be some news regarding learning and development. So when I'm looking at the cards over here, the story I can tell you is that there is going to be a new element coming in your life which will lead to uh, some people not happy about it and they may try to put you down. However, you will just keep that energy aside and you'll emerge as someone who is going to learn a spiritual lesson from this situation and focus on self-growth. Now, let's see the blessing coming from Magical Merlin for you. Uh, before I remove the blessing, let me tell you the Magical Merlin workshop, the once a year workshop is coming soon this weekend itself. If you want to know more details about this workshop and the earlier participants experiences, click on the link given in the pinned comment. So let's see. All right. The blessing coming your way is a thinker. Interestingly, Ace of Wands also talks about thinking, creativity, creative thinking. So over here, the blessing coming your way is that, you know, earlier you used to overthink a lot and you used to kind of, you know, feel drained because of this overthinking. So this week, there is going to be certain realization and epiphany, which which in turn will help you to get out of this entire overthinking pattern. 
let me keep this over here also i feel that something that whatever energy you will give to a particular thought process that will manifest in the week ahead that's the blessing coming your way so ensure that you're using your thoughts to create what you desire and not what you don't desire because magical merlin is all about manifestation and magic that's your next card regarding uh, health you got home health now whenever this card shows up it means that you need to take support from your uh, family members or you need to take support generally in life which will help you to focus more on peace and relaxation and this help will really kind of uh, improve your health in general so uh, this is what your health card is telling now please note you have to continue with your doctor's advice medication uh, this is just information now let's see what you need to surrender surrender your desire to control people now that's what also the five of swords energy is so in uh, during the mid of the week especially you may feel that you know i people everybody around you should work in a particular manner they should talk in a particular manner however it gets suffocating for the other person let the other person say what they want to let them do the mistake it is all right okay so surrender your need to kind of be controlling of yourself and others and then and just see what happens okay and don't 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 get into this entire uh, control drama okay let's see to nurture yourself you have to listen to your intuition you are going to get lot of downloads see the thinker card over here you're going to get lot of downloads via the angels gods and goddesses so pay attention to those ideas those thoughts that you're getting because those thoughts are really going to uplift you and help you to go ahead in life let me keep your card over here okay now let's see what your next card is telling us the change is coming your way adult children so over here this card is telling that if you are a adult ch child then yes uh, there will be some changes coming your way with regards to your responsibilities if you have adult children they will be your focus uh, also if you consider somebody as your child you know could be a niece nephew they will be of focus as well all right let me keep your card over here let's see the your finances unlimited ideas oh my god this is a third confirmation you got the thinker card over here the blessing coming from magical merlin you got the ace of wand which again talks about thinking thoughts and ideas you did get the intuition so clearly okay clearly this week a lot of ideas are going to pour in and this ideas are going to give you money so focus on this ideas write it down note it down and don't take it lightly okay because they, those are the keys to wealth let me keep your candle over here options so whether you're a homemaker corporate career person business person retired uh, person or a student this week you will have options with regards to your life purpose and this particular options uh, are going to present you with possibilities so just explore them and just see where it goes in case if you're guided all right now let's see what your wheel of fortune is going to tell us yes i i also have one more card for love life regarding how your love life is going to be okay so you're going to move on with regards to your love life okay there is going to be a transition uh, from not so great towards great time so you're going to in, be in between all right now let's see what your wheel of fortune is going to tell us so think about a question group 1 and let me spin the wheel for you you have got jackpot all right so whatever your question is you're going to receive a jackpot isn't that amazing group 1 group 1 i hope you enjoyed this weekly reading as much as i did doing it i have a special a weekly reading which i have done in the in this week you can have a check at that as well i hope you enjoyed this video i am there on instagram as well we are a family of 29000 people on facebook we are around 81000 you can join me over there as well uh, we share a lot of interesting uh, you know post and reels and a lot of uplifting content so take care bye bye 
हेलो ग्रुप टू हाउ आर यू गाइज डूइंग आई होप यू आर फाइन एंड रॉकिंग एज ऑलवेज सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ द कमिंग वीक इज गोइंग टू बी फॉर यू वी आर ऑल्सो गोइंग टू सी वॉट स्पेशल ब्लेसिंग मैजिकल मर्लिन मास्टर मर्लिन इज गोइंग टू गिव यू इन द वीक अड सो लेट्स सी योर कास्ट बट बिफोर दैट यू हैव चोजन दिस रेड कैंडल विच मीन्स स्पीड पैशन इज गोइंग टू बी रियली रियली strong in the week ahead ensure that you're not letting all this passion get distorted into anger and impulsiveness all right so yes a lot of energy a lot of passion but also regulate this entire outburst of energy in a calm manner let's see the beginning of the week the mid of the week and the end of the week all right i have already removed your angel cards over here so let's see one by one the beginning of the week you have got ace of cups this is so interesting even group 1 had got ace of wands so at the beginning of the week there will be some emotional new beginnings happening in your life or some sort of emotional good news coming your way this could be in your family or extended family it could be birth of a child or it could be um uh addition in the family via marriage or engagement as well but some sort of emotional good news coming your way the middle of the week wow so this news is going to lead to celebration there will be some sort of celebration you will either attend or there will be some sort of celebration at your home home is going to be of focus you're going to pay attention to um maybe you're going to buy some home decor renovate home or some of you may even purchase a home or right? now some of you uh, uh, uh you know this our general readings guys so take what resonates and leave what does not also i feel that there is going to be uh you know you may kind of get together with friends and family or with maybe someone uh, close to your heart and going to have a good time with them All right the weekend you may start doubting yourself okay the weekend you may start thinking uh, am i good enough do i deserve this will this happen uh, or, or this is not good enough in me or, you know you so basically you're going to question your self worth now please understand uh, even if you're questioning it the self worth is intact you may be uh, doubting yourself but others are extremely sure about your potential about your skill set and they are actually threatened by you and inspired by you so stop doubting yourself during the weekend so the story that i can see is that yes there is going to be a new beginning happening in the uh, in the beginning of the week which will lead to celebration but while you are celebrating there may be somebody who may come up and tell you something like you know what you're lucky to get this that may start putting you in a um, entire this uh, narrative of do i deserve this do i do, uh, do uh, you know uh, am i worth it you know that kind of a scenario so don't get into that so now i'm going to remove uh, the blessing coming to you from magical merlin in the week ahead so before i remove this card let me tell you that i have this magical merlin workshop coming this weekend uh, you can see the description of this workshop and the earlier participants experiences in the link given in the comment section the pinned comment so let's see what blessing magical merlin master merlin is going to bless you with in the week ahead you have got loyal heart so you know see over here there's a heart and over there here also there's a heart so clearly there is going to be some good news with regards to emotional uh, well being all right so enjoy this uh, entire emotional blessing that is coming your way because this blessing is going to really help you to um understand that you deserve it okay so the weekend the questioning that you are doing over here will be addressed by this particular factor also there's a lot of loyalty coming your way there would be a group of people who will be loyal to you who will be you know kind of rooting for you all right now let's see your health card stretch so in order to improve your health you need to kind of get involved in a physical activity that is allowed by your doctor or by your uh, trainer personal trainer uh, or whoever you train under this entire physical activity will really help you to kind of you know uh, get into the momentum of good health let's see what you need to surrender 
you need to surrender to creativity so you are a creative person even if you doubt it let me tell you you are creative and your creativity can really open up doors for things which you have never imagined so please flow into your creativity and create something really amazing and that's what ace of cups also talks about it also talks about a creative a uh, flow all right so let let your creativity surprise you and others as well in order to nurture see this is what i love now this cards i have already removed but i have not seen them and how they are in sync so look over here you got stretch and you got movement so here you really need to keep get your body moving because that will really make you feel better and at the same time it will nurture you as well let's see the changes coming your way keep the faith you know at times we start questioning when something good happens we are in gratitude but we may not express our gratitude enough but if something bad happens we start doubting the divine we start doubting everything around us we feel oh i might have done this wrong i might have done that wrong but that's not the case you know god will not want anything bad to happen to us and first god will tell us by giving us hints subtle hints but if we keep on ignoring those hints for any rhyme or reason then when the lesson becomes bigger and bigger and bigger until and unless we cannot escape it all right also when you are praying please understand god is there with you and god is holding your hand in this entire uh lesson that you are going through and at any moment you tell that you know it's getting too difficult for me to handle please i need your intervention god will come and intervene it is just like a parent who is always there to support you all right so keep the faith and don't doubt don't doubt anything all right at times a particular thing is meant to go really worst but because of your prayers and ritual it may get reduced to only 1% of what worst it could have been okay regarding your finances declutter you really need to declutter your space your mind uh especially a workspace is what i'm i'm getting i'm getting you know cupboards and uh, desk area so declutter it so that there is more uh, space around you so that you can work more in a better manner declutter for abundance regarding your life purpose you're meant to create an impact in on the environment whether you're a homemaker a corporate career person retired person student or a business person ensure that your choices are leading to the betterment of the environment because that's what your main life purpose is now let's see how what your love life is going to tell us oh wow your love life you got the lovers card so if you're single there is going to be a choice presented to you even if you're married or are in a relationship there is going to be a choice that will be given to you ensure that this choice or this decision that you are going to undertake has got both your heart and brain on the same page all right uh, also there is going to be a lot of love and passion in the week ahead so somebody's love life is going to be interesting now let's see what your wheel of fortune is going to tell us so think about a question group 2 and let me spin the wheel for you so you got the the cards are the, the the wheel of fortune is between no and better which means whatever you asked for you may not get that but you will get something better now let's see why why will you not get that and why will you get something better so if you want it no as an answer and you're happy with it then don't you know then just ignore what i'm doing but if you are like no i i want to know why is it no and why am i going to get something better so why why, why is the answer no the answer is no because uh, there is a some, some something toxic in it okay and this toxicity can affect your dreams that is why um this particular whatever the question you asked about this toxicity needs to go away for it to happen so there will be a better option given to you once this toxicity is gone also you need to get more practical with regards to this you're not being practical about the question that you have asked and uh, this practicality will help you to understand that this what you are asking for is not really good for you and you are meant to get something much much better All right group 2 I hope you enjoyed this reading as much as I did if you did do hit the like button to subscribe to my channel if you're guided I also have a telegram channel 
attend a WhatsApp broadcast list. If you want to be a part of this uh, broadcast list or Telegram channel, message my support team on 9820-533-750 and uh, be a part of the WhatsApp broadcast list or the Telegram channel. Take care. Bye-bye. Hello group 3, how are you guys doing? I hope you are fine and rocking as always. So today we are going to see how your coming week is going to be. We are also going to see a special blessing from Master Merlin. So you have chosen this lovely orange candle which means luck, fortune is going to be of focus in the week ahead. Now let's see what the cards are telling us. However, this luck and fortune may come up with little hiccups is what I am getting. Okay, let's see the beginning of the week, the mid of the week, the end of the week. I feel that there was somebody who tried to intrude your privacy or tried to, you know, uh, uh, cross their boundaries and you're really upset with it and guilty about it at the same time. So please don't be guilty. If you said no to someone because they were kind of you know uh, stepping the boundaries it's completely all right okay the beginning of the week you got king of swords now king of swords talks about being practical being wise looking into facts and data and not emotions to make a particular decision or to you know kind of uh, the kind of you know the modus operandi so yes the king of swords is asking you to kind of you know be practical be wise and do not be harsh with yourself and others. There is going to be a very wise man, uh, a sorted man who is going to help you out. The middle of the week, you've got Knight of Pentacles. Interestingly, you've got a King and Knight, which are two court cards, which means other people are going to play a major role in your week ahead. So Knight of Pentacles, you will focus on perfection, completing your task. You will try and do things as properly as possible however in the pursuit of perfection do not miss deadlines or do not overstress yourself also there will be a very young trustworthy person who is going to help you wow another quote card so your your week is going to be driven by other people so during the weekend you may visit a psychic or you may watch a lot of spiritual content your intuition is going to be very high your creativity is going to be extremely high so pay attention to it a wise woman is going to advise your mother or mother healing issues are going to be of, of focus now let's see what your other cards are telling us i've already removed these cards now let's see a blessing coming from a uh, master Merlin for you. Before I remove this card, let me tell you I have a magical Merlin workshop coming up in this weekend. In case if you want to know more details about this workshop and the earlier participants' experiences, click on the link given in the pinned comment. Now let's see. The blessing coming your way is mending. So something which was broken is going to be, uh, you know, uh, fixed by a magical Merlin, Master Merlin. And this mending, that's why I got so many uh, court cards because other people are going to be of importance. So this mending also requires your flexibility. So ensure that you are flexible while this whatever was done wrong is going to get fixed. Regarding health, you've got alternative medicine. So maybe some of you may, may explore that option. Uh, please note, uh, please follow your doctor's advice and doctor's medicine. Okay, let's your next card. Surrender your belief in scarcity. So you have been kind of... Uh, having this mindset of scarcity where I am particularly feeling with regards to competition see yes there is competition in every field there is competition but understand one thing you are unique nobody is like you and the the kind of person you are and the kind of uh, 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 the kind of essence the kind of um, uh, the kind of you know uh, uh, the kind of <laughs> I'm falling short of words right now because of the kind of talent you are. The kind of talent you bring onto the table is unique. You have this passion. You are absolutely driven by what you believe in. So don't have the scarcity outlook. Okay, you are good at whatever you do. And there are people who do what you do. But you know what? You have an edge over them. 
you have got ground yourself so whenever you feel too much of energy you know uh, you you feel overwhelmed it is a good idea to ground yourself so ground yourself maybe by walking on a walking in a garden barefoot just don't hurt yourself or hugging a tree or kind of just holding a crystal like a black tourmaline that can help you to ground now let's see the change coming your way in this week ahead you have got family changes again a lot of uh, court cards so i'm not surprised there's going to be some sort of changes happening in the family uh, toxic people leaving uh, the relationships getting men mended as well so focus on those exercise to increase your energy and manifestation abilities so you are going to do rituals prayers to increase your abundance so that you know you can really bring in what you desire some of you may also take up physical activity because when we are exercising we are moving our energetic field which really helps us to attract what we desire oracle card so again with the queen of cups and the oracle cards i'm not surprised some of you are will visit um psychic and get some uh, message from them or you may start exploring uh, oracle cards yourself or you will watch a lot of pick a card content on youtube uh, this week now let's see what your love life is going to tell us Two of Pentacles. So this week you are going to be really very busy with other, um, uh, with other you know responsibilities and love life may take a backseat. So don't do that. Ensure that you are striking a balance between love and work. All right. Let's see what your wheel of fortune is going to tell us. Group three. So think about a question and let me spin the wheel for you. You got soon. So whatever you asked for, the answer is soon. You're going to get it soon. So enjoy when it happens. All right, group three. I hope you enjoyed this reading as much as I did. If you did, hit the like button to subscribe to my channel if you are guided. And we have a telegram a channel and a WhatsApp broadcast list as well. If you want to be a part of those channel or the broadcast list, you can WhatsApp my support team on 9820-533-750. Take care. Bye-bye.